Mike, I wanted to ask you about Justin Herbert and the, the unique challenges he, uh, I guess, presents with that with the arm and all that. And did you get a chance to visit with him in a pre-draft process? And if so, what did you come away with? Oh, that was like several. Um, that was, that was so, to answer your question, he does have an arm. I think I believe two of them, um, and it is strong. Uh, I'm not sure how much he can curl, but he can throw the ball far. Classic, classic. Mike, oh no, oh no, the upside down pineapple. Oh no, oh pineapple. Hey, Mike, can I just can we right go way. back? Can we please go back to this? Now, before the upside down pineapple, I want to see the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. And I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question about the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Why are there pineapples behind him? Why does <laughs> Baptist Health have a pineapple for a logo? Well, you're not going to get another pineapple for saying it. Maybe you will, because we both got this week <laughs> pineapples from Baptist Health. And also a coffee table book about, not coffee tables, but Baptist Health. And a nice bag that you can yeah. put stuff in and carry around that says Baptist Health. There's my pineapple. I have yet to carve it open. Peter, <laughs> on the other hand, has enjoyed his pineapple. So thank you, Baptist I'll say Health. this. You sent me a picture of your pineapple. I sent you a picture of mine. So there you go. That's right. But, <clears throat> you know, Mike, something about, about Mike McDaniel, you know, uh, when he said he does have an arm, two of them, I think. <laughs> One of the reasons I think, and I, I did a lot of reporting last week, never spoke to McDaniel, but... I did a lot of reporting last week about the Dolphins and about their offense. And one of the things I found out is, two of the things I found out. Number one, when Tua Tagovailoa has a poor game, which he did on Sunday, he beats himself up mercilessly over it. And he becomes absolutely, totally determined that those mistakes will not be repeated, okay? And he was just off on Sunday in Santa Clara. He was. If you watch the game, I kept thinking to myself, man, this is an accurate passer. And so many of his balls were were just, you know, behind guys, over guys, on the ground. You know, he did the Deshaun Watson thing, you know, where Deshaun Watson, about five balls were three feet in front of his receivers. But 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 I, I, I think, at, so I don't think he's going to be bad again. But the other thing I learned is that the reason these guys like playing for Mike McDaniel is because of moments just like that. Instead of saying, oh, that Justin Herbert, great arm. Uh, we got our hands full with him this week. We got this. He makes a silly little pun about it, a little joke. He has fun. And he makes football fun for those players. And they love playing for him. I, I, I just think the addition of Mike McDaniel and Mike, how, how ironic is it? Isn't this the only head coaching job that Mike McDaniel ever interviewed for? And he got the job after never interviewing for a head coaching job before or since. And he gets the job and now they're one of the best teams in football. It's just, it's a very cool story. And I think the Dolphins are going to be a big factor in January. And beyond. I mean, Mike McDaniel is so refreshing because of the type of personality he has and because he's true to it. He's authentic. He doesn't try to be anything other than who he is. He doesn't say what he thinks he's supposed to say. He just says what he believes. Right, and right, he right. is who he is. And I think... I think we all would benefit from that because I think we're all tempted at times to act like someone other than who we really are. Just be who you are, and life is a hell of a lot less stressful. Maybe that's why he looks so chill all the time. He's never worried about whether I should say this or should I say something different or would a real NFL head coach say that. He just says what he believes. Now, Peter, what do you believe as it relates to Tua Tonga Vailoa versus Justin Herbert taken 
fifth and sixth overall, respectively, in the 2020 draft. Two to the Dolphins just before Herbert to the Chargers. Who is the better of the two right now? I mean, I think, and I, I don't mean to pun on this one, Mike, but I think it's an absolute toss-up because I think if you put Justin Herbert right now in Mike McDaniel's offense with those weapons, we'd all, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everybody would say, well, Herbert's better. And Tua happens to have a great play caller, um, not only two great offensive weapons, but he's got more than that. You know, he's got he's got guys all over. I mean, last week Alec Ingold, the fullback, is you know is is catching three passes uh, in either one or two series. But I think the the way I sort of separate these quarterbacks, honestly, obviously Justin Herbert has a more dynamic arm, but I think that Tua Tagovailoa. You know, except for the hiccups like last week, I think he's the more accurate passer. And I think they're both going to have really, really good careers. The reality here, too, that you mentioned that it's close, that in and of itself is significant because a year ago, it was a no-brainer. The Dolphins screwed it up. They took the wrong guy. They should have taken Herbert. He's clearly better. Enter Mike McDaniel, and all of a sudden... Uh, you know, two is the Pro Bowl leading vote getter. Two is the 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 star of the league right now. Two is turning it around. He put a lot of work and effort into it, to his credit. But the fact that it's even close to me is a huge development. And I still think Herbert would be even better than Tua with Mike McDaniel. And Tua would not be anywhere near what he is if he was with the Chargers. But it'll be it'll be fun to see it play out on Sunday night when Tua and Justin Herbert get together on Sunday Night Football. Dolphins at the Chargers. We'll take a break when we return. Show me something draft for week 14. We'll do that next right here on PFT. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk. 